work at the edge of what's possible every day. Others reach into the cold vacuum of space or penetrate the ocean's crushing depths. We plunge down into the unseen world of the nanosphere. Leaving behind dimensions that make sense to our senses, we shrink down tenfold, then by a hundred, then by a thousand, shrinking again and again to a millionth, to nearly a billionth of a meter. Welcome to the nanosphere. Here, we build and help others build immensely powerful tiny objects like logic chips, and this, a 3D NAND memory chip. It's an entire city built of atoms. So how do we engineer something so incredibly small? Here, the environment is extreme. It's an alien landscape where we sculpt and shape using pressure and temperature. Plasma clouds heat ions hotter than the surface of the sun as they rain down molecules which build up structures atom by atom. Silicon is transformed into a much more efficient electrical conductor, bombarded, disrupted, and then in a flash, its crystalline structure is repaired, with its conductive powers much increased. Now we build up, layer upon layer. This structure will soon be home to billions of memory cells. We deposit, remove, and modify materials, stripping back deposits to reveal a giant staircase, which will eventually bring power to our atomic metropolis. Next, we prepare to drill. However, there's no drill bit small enough for the task. So here, we drill with ions. We start by drilling into the protective mask, and then inspect the holes for perfect alignment. Then we drill on down, changing our process to suit each layer. By turning gases into solids, we deposit molecules until the holes are filled. The smallest defects can render the whole chip useless. We etch downwards and sideways, removing only the materials we need to tolerances just one atom thick. 10 kilometers of metal are now deposited in one single chip, allowing power to flow to every one of the billions of memory cells eight of which are needed to light up just one pixel in the eye of this robot defending the galaxy. We continue to work at the edge of what's possible to make possible a better future, where transformative technologies shape a smarter, safer, more sustainable world. Whatever can be imagined will have its beginning in materials engineering. Whatever you imagine, we can imagine how to build it in the nanosphere. We work here.